welcome to the program. This is Hat to Hat on UETV and I'm Alas Gerjuk. And today we're talking about supporting Ukraine's cultural and art projects, which demands not only creativity but also financial support. And the Culture Bridges program is one such avenue. To talk about it, we welcome to the studio Irina Prokofieva. She is the Culture Bridges program manager at the British Council in Ukraine. Hello and thank you for being with us today. Hi, thank you for inviting. So, Ms. Prokofieva, please tell us more about this project or is it a contest or mm -hmm. what is that? Uh, Culture Bridges is a three-year program uh, which is funded by European Union and implemented by the British Council in Ukraine and EUNIC, which is European Union National Institutes of Culture. And it is running uh, starting from November 2017 until October to, uh, 2020. Uh, this project is aimed to support culture and creative industries in Ukraine to build so their capacity. So it's only for Ukraine, for Ukrainian uh, culture? Not only. Uh, one of the objectives of this program is to establish a uh, um, larger cooperation between the sectors, uh, culture and creative sectors in Ukraine and European Union. So opportunities of this program uh, are also open for uh, organizations based in European Union. Mm -hmm. What does this cooperation mean? Is it about um, financial support mm -hmm. or cooperation in producing something or is it about education? What does mm -hmm. it contain? Uh, in general, Culture Bridges has several components. One of them uh, is about giving grants, so financial support for projects. And another one is uh, about educational opportunities. If to talk mm -hmm. about grants, uh, there are uh, options uh, to run a project and to apply for Culture Bridges grant. Uh, and this project can be implemented in partnership uh, between Ukrainian organization and European organization. Also, we have a mobility, uh, international mobility grants, uh, which are available both for Ukrainians and for EU uh, members. Uh, they can apply to travel to some uh, educational activity, some course, conference, training program or Is residency. Is this a group of people or the individual? It can, they can be only individual, yes, if we are talking about the first type of grant, individual mobility grants. Uh, this is only for individuals uh, and Ukrainians can apply to travel somewhere to one of EU countries or uh, uh, someone from EU country wants to travel to Ukraine. Um, he or she can also apply for this opportunity. But there should be some aim of this travel. Yes, there should be course. some project and some yes. result of it. Yes. Right? Uh, first of all, you should represent uh, one of uh, at least one of culture and creative uh, industry sector, uh, and it's uh, a wide range uh, range of them. If you uh, if you know what culture and creative industries uh, are, you could specify uh, for our audience. These are more like traditional arts and culture, like theater, uh, literature, music, uh, uh, films, and etc. But also creative industries such as uh, media, uh, game production, IT, creative hubs, and a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So this so is a wide range. everything which involves creativity, basically. Yes, okay. if, yeah. And um, speaking about these grants, what spheres um, are these grants directed to um, since, based on, uh, on the results since, uh, since November? Uh, what projects are mm -hmm. mm, usually or most often the, winner, the winners? Uh, at the moment, I can't talk about the winners specifically, but I can give you some data uh, about all the applications we received. Uh, we opened the first uh, wave of grant calls in November, and we opened it for three types of grants, for individual mobility, for national cooperation projects, and for international cooperation projects. And in total, we received uh, 500, uh, uh, if I'm not, yeah, 544 uh, applications for all these three types of grants. Uh, we decided to support, at this first call, uh, to support 44, uh, 43 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and they mainly represent uh, visual arts, creative industries, uh, cultural heritage, uh, and festivals. These are top uh, sectors uh, which applied and uh, represented. Mm -hmm. uh, and what European organizations do participate in this program? What, um, what countries uh, are the most common partners mm -hmm. uh, of Ukrainian organizations? For international cooperation uh, projects, uh, we had applications with Polish partners like the most. Mm -hmm. This was the biggest amount of applications, but also organizations applied this partnership in partnership with uh, German, uh, UK organizations, Italian, Portuguese, uh, Danish, uh, and uh, almost uh, all countries of European Union. 
Which is exciting. Yes. How do you popularize this project? This is the first attempt to mm -hmm. to launch such a such a such a project in Ukraine, right? Yes. Uh, we didn't have uh, any project like that before, specifically for culture and creative industries. You know, there are a lot of opportunities for other sectors, but for culture and creativity, uh, not so many of them uh, till that moment, till this moment. Uh, and when we launched the program, uh, we started in November 2017. We started to promote it actively uh, in Ukraine, uh, around the country, most of all, uh, to give this opportunity to those who are based non not in the big cities, uh, such as Kyiv, Dnipro, and Odessa, people from there usually know about such opportunities, but also from the regions, from small cities and small towns, so that that local initiatives could also uh, take this opportunity and uh, use it. And actually, our applications were from all regions of Ukraine, like all oblasts. Uh, and uh, now we are going to promote it also actively in EU countries uh, because these opportunities are open for them as well. So how to apply for culture bridges? Mm -hmm. uh, at the moment uh, there is a separate web page on our British Council Ukraine website where you can read everything about culture bridges. It also has uh, application forms. Uh, shortly we will have a separate website for uh, this program which will be culturebridges.eu. So I invite everyone who is interested uh, in our program and our to visit, this to visit it Yes, in uh, approximately two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, what is the amount of money allocated for this uh, project? Um, well, it lasts for three years, mm -hmm. so there should be some good amount of money. Um, pretty much, it's 1.3 million euro for these three years. And uh, this is not only for grants, but also for educational opportunities. Uh, for example, how we are going uh, to support our organizations uh, to cooperate with Europe more. There is um, a program called Creative Europe. This is one of the biggest grant programs of uh, European Union. And this, it's open for um, culture and for uh, media. Uh, for film production as well. And uh, at the moment, we don't have a lot of uh, applications from Ukraine for that program. That's why one of our components is to educate uh, cultural actors how to apply to this program. We are going to do this in cooperation with Creative Europe Desk Ukraine. We invite uh, European experts who already applied for this program and managed uh, successfully those projects projects uh, which support, were supported by Creative Europe. And by this we hope that uh, our Ukrainian organizations with, will also have uh, stronger applications and will get this access uh, uh, to finance from the Creative Europe program. Mm -hmm. Does this program include uh, real financial support for some, for some serious, I mean, for some serious uh, educational workshops in Europe? Um, uh, in so, Europe, so the professionals mm -hmm. can gain some experience abroad mm -hmm. and just add it to their CV? Uh, if you are from cultural creative industries and you want to gain such professional experience somewhere in the EU, you can uh, look for such uh, opportunity, opportunity abroad and apply for our individual mobility grant. And this may cover such expenses. Uh, if to talk about another experiences we are going to have in European countries, there will be four study tours for culture and creative industries representatives from Ukraine. Uh, they will travel to four countries, which will be defined uh, a bit later during the, the next two years. And uh, they will be able to meet European projects, uh, also those who were successfully funded by Creative Europe program. They will be able to establish cooperation. They will be able to get this experience from them on how they manage their projects, how they can cooperate with each other, what other opportunities are available from EU for Ukrainian organizations. Mm. Well, this is very exciting. And who, who does support you in Ukraine? Uh, in Ukraine, we are implementing the program in partnership with EUNIC uh, network. Uh, and of course, we are supported and funded by European delegation. Well, and uh, how many stages of this program do you have? I mean, that probably ac uh, every stage should have its winner. So there should be some yeah. approximate amount of, of projects uh, that uh, could actually get this uh, financial support. Uh, we will have eight grant calls. Each three months it will be a call for individual mobility. 
and each six months it will be a call for uh, national cooperation projects and international cooperation projects. If we are talking about national cooperation projects, this is opportunity for two Ukrainian organizations uh, to apply with their project uh, in partnership and to get up to 8,000 euro for their project. And for international cooperation, uh, two organizations should apply in partnership, one from Ukraine and one from uh, one of EU countries. And they can get up to 50,000 euro for realization of their program. And how big is the competition so far? Uh, so far, it's really big. Uh, it, we, it, we had uh, more than 500 applications and only uh, 40 winners. 40. Yeah. Well, this is a great program and we're wishing you best of luck in it. Thank and you. Uh, the, the, the most talented participants among the, attend uh, um, among the applicants. Thank you. Thank you so much for this conversation. That was Irina Prokofieva, Culture Bridges Program Manager at the British Council in Ukraine. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alas Gerduk. Goodbye. <laughs>